Here's something that a lot of my recipients that are planning to get pregnant don't know about this. Don't worry, this is not spunk, this is milk, but I'm trying to use this to show you guys something. A lot of my recipients are worried that in case their ovulation dates shift and they fall onto the same day as another recipient, that they will end up with no genetic material or not a sufficient amount of genetic material to become pregnant. And I just wanted to show you the difference between the quality of genetic material and the amount of genetic material that you are getting when you're working with an open and known donor compared to the amount of genetic material or spunk, as some people call it. I'm trying not to use the main word for it because I don't want to get flagged. If you have an open and known donor, then what you get in a really good sample is about this. Not this much, but this should be about 600 million swimmers, just for you guys to understand um, the size, because I'm trying to show the difference between what you get from an open and known donor compared to a bank. So if this is 600 million motile swimmers, which is a really healthy donor with really good um, sperm quality, oh, I, wrong word, <laughs> spun quality, <laughs> you, you get this. Now, if you go through a bank or if you buy from a bank, you get 30 million, right? You get 30 million swimmers instead of 600 million swimmers. So this is the, this is the different difference. Some banks, they wash the sperm and they cut it down into many different vials. Every bank cuts it into many different vials and 30 million is usually the highest amount you can buy. You can also buy 20 million or 10 million. Now, this is what 10 million looks like if this is 600 million, just for you guys to get a little bit of a feeling. Now, what happens if you are ovulating earlier than you thought and someone else is getting the big pot, someone else is getting the 600 million because their ovulation dates didn't shift, so the open donor will have to prioritize them. Now, in this case, this pot does not disappear but we still have a lot of storage. So I have 600, about 600 to 900 million when I have a really good sample or have been abstinent for a few days and not traveling. And then I have done tests before that if I stay absent for just a day, I have about 150 million more transformers. So this is about the amount. Now this looks less than that. However, this is still way more and very sufficient compared to what you get when you order sperm spunk spunk from a bank. So I hope this guys this helps you guys out and I hope it kind of takes away the stress and the anxiety some recipients have when it comes to ovulation days that change or the worry that they might not get enough of the valuable genetic material that they need in order to have a child.